Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I have Miss Emma here with me today. Yes, we did go ahead and go settle on the name Emma, kind of when Emma falls in love, Taylor Swift song vibes, but I don't know. I just thought that it suited her and she's very cute. Um, I have a name for 55, but I'm not 100% settled on it, so you guys don't get to know what it is yet. But anyway, this video is not about Emma. The last one was, but this one is not. I'm sorry, ma'am. I have a doll in here and I have a wig in here. This wig is not for this doll. This is a customization slash new on doll unboxing slash something Kyla has been waiting to do for over a year now. I'm very, very excited. I was browsing on Mercari and I saw the base of this doll and it was a ridiculously good deal for this doll that is in here. And I, you will kind of understand that once we open her up. And then I was looking for a wig for her and I came across this wig that I had been looking for for a very long time and it's kind of hard to come by. I didn't want it for this doll that I bought, but I do want it for another doll. And you may or may not be able to see her behind me. But I went ahead and I jumped on it. I paid a little bit more than what I wanted to for a wig. However, this one, since it's kind of, it's a fan favorite and a lot of people like it. So once you find it, you just kind of have to jump on it and I always miss out. So I went ahead and I bought it. I did buy them from two different sellers, but both sellers had great reviews and everything and they arrived. I bought them on the same day. The doll arrived yesterday and the wig arrived like an hour ago. So I've been very, very excited. It was killing me not to open the doll yesterday, but I didn't want to film like two openings. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to put Emma aside and I have Sunday in here with me. She was featured in the Instagram story video I posted where she was checking out the box and I had you guys guess who was inside. None of you guessed. I didn't think any of you would, but Miss Sunday might come make an appearance. I don't know though. And nobody else is in here yet. Cleo was in here, but she was causing chaos. So she ran away. Anyway, I'm going to open the doll first and then we'll kind of go from there because I haven't really decided how we're doing this yet. Oh wow. It's packing peanut heaven. Okay. I have to do this very carefully so the cats do not discover what is in here or we're going to be in for it. Okay. It was successful. Um, I was scared, but is this what they come back from the doll hospital in? But I feel like there's like a logo on, the, I don't know. But anyway, um, she sent her in this white box. And like I said earlier, it is just a doll base. And this doll was created by a doll customizer that I actually own dolls from already, but I did not buy this directly from this customizer. I'm very excited. I could not believe this when I like saw how much the seller was asking and what type of doll the doll was and just oh my god I'm trying not to look down right now because you guys know me I like to prolong my excitement okay let's do it oh never mind she's like literally tied down in the box okay okay are you coming out okay great excellent excellent oh my god this is exciting limb check I knew the limbs were good let me look at her face oh my oh my god her ears are pierced oh my god I'm crying. So this is a Marie Grace base. Um, I don't know if she has Marie Grace eyes with my vision. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, if you guys want to let me know, I do have Marie Grace, but me comparing things, um, especially when it comes to fine details like eyes, the irony of that. Um, let me know. As you can see, she's got her nose pierced. She is now my third doll with a nose piercing. Um, no tattoos. My other two dolls with the nose piercings, Karma and Roxy, both have tattoos, but they're both drawn very, very different. She's got them neck strings, and she is signed by Omar because she is a small friend's custom. He's extremely talented, so I've never bought anything directly from him. Um, not because I don't want to, but um, I have definitely found some incredible deals, and I think he does really, really good work. I'm not sure if he has anybody for sale right now over on Instagram. Um, but definitely go ahead and give him a follow. Um, and I actually haven't looked at Roxy and Primrose's feet. I don't know if they're signed. I don't know. But anyway, this is the doll. So she needs a wig, right? Well, her wig, the wig that I would like to use, hopefully this is actually going to work and this plan will come to fruition because if not, I might actually cry because I love buying these custom bases, but I'm not good at picking out wigs and the combination of things. I'm, my only two successful experiences with that are Merlot and Chloe. And um, hopefully this doll's wig is coming from, 
Isla. So Isla has a Leah wig and this Leah wig initially came on Karma who is back here. I don't know if you guys can see her, but Karma now has a Marie Grace wig and I think it fits her a lot better. Um, and Isla is, the plan was to eventually turn her into mini Kyla. So her name will be changing from Isla to Kyla, which when I bought her, she wasn't intentionally supposed to be mini me because I'm more of a classic mold, but I already have a doll with my skin tone and my eye color with a face up, which is what I wanted. And I could pass for a Josefina, okay? So Isla, I, I am praying this works. So anyway, um, hopefully I will actually stay true to this decision and glue this wig on our new base here and I can glue the Marie Grace one on Karma. I do not like gluing wigs down. I absolutely hate it. It's terrifying. I've done it once. I did it to Chloe. Chloe was fine. Everything was great. But I am also like just petrified that if I screw up then I'm, and especially with these because Chloe was a Kanani base with 49 eyes popped in and she didn't have like any fancy face ups or anything. So I wasn't, I was worried, but I wasn't like, you know, absolutely petrified. So if this doesn't work, then I don't want to try the Marie Grace on her because then it would just look like a, um, like a, a Marie Grace face up, like, you know, a, I guess modernized Marie Grace. I don't know. Um, Choosing the part is something I often struggle with as well. So I think she looks good. Obviously this is not the final placement of the wig. I think she looks great. It's a Leah wig and I have a couple dolls. I've got Leah obviously, but I have 81 who has a wig super similar to this. So, and um, Lulu, my Lila Monetti, um, she has a wig similar to this, but I think it looks, honestly, I like it and I think it will look better like once I you know I take her outside and we get her in like some natural right lighting excuse me I think it looks cute and it'll be a lot cuter when I finalize like the part and I can actually do stuff with her because I don't like to really do a whole lot with my dolls that don't have glued down wigs so um I need to glue these down so that I can actually like this this is an okay travel wig okay so like I need to glue them down so we can actually like take them to the wilderness and take pictures of them um because I'm pretty sure you guys are like sick of seeing opal in every picture <laughs> but anyway I like her I think she's cute um name suggestions of course are always welcome I don't know what I'm gonna call her yet um if you want to do Taylor Swift if you want to do tortured poets department recommendations yes Clara is an option but I don't know yet I'm not entirely sure um She's cute though, I like her, I really do like her. So with that being said, let's put her over here and let's get to this package. So I said I needed a wig for mini me and you guys are probably like, wait, don't you already have a mini Kyla? I do, I do. And that is my customized Isabel Palmer. This doll, I, I swapped her. These are customized from Dallas Dollco. Um, my dog is drinking if you hear her. But the thing is, I wanted a doll that had a face up and I didn't want to send her anywhere. Um, and this is really the only wig that I think really fits my hair because sometimes my hair is lighter, sometimes my hair is darker. But these are kind of difficult to come by. So my plan has always been for the past like year I've wanted to change Isla so we're changing Isla and I don't want to take this wig off of her because if you don't know she was my first ever secondhand purchase and I put a lot of love into restoring her and everything so I don't know if I'll ever get rid of her but I am looking to purchase back some Isabel Palmer eyes so I can pop those back in so she could become official Isabel again. So um, the necklace that she wears, since she's, she's in her pajamas, it's like flipped backwards, but it is my childhood historical doll necklace. So that will be transferred to the new mini Kyla. Um, so we're retiring 
Isabel Kyla, and hopefully we're gonna go um, a new direction with the doll that has super pretty face up. She was done by, her face was done by Seb. I bought her from Emma, but she was made by Seb Repaints. Um, so I'm excited. If you haven't guessed by now, it is an Isabel Palmer wig. Um, it's in this green tissue with these cute little stickers and a thank you. So this wig is very hard to come by. I don't know why, but again, I think it's because it's like a fan favorite. It's an easy wig. It's easy to do, super easy to travel with, and I, I get it. Okay, I now have three of them. Um, I do have one concern about making this Mini Me Custom, uh, which I will share with you in a moment, um, but it really shouldn't be that big of an issue, but we'll see. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm at work getting a wig and it comes with a hairnet. Anyway, um, the seller said this wig was in good condition and it definitely looked in good condition. If you saw um, my Isabel, the one I just showed you, her ends are not flipped up because I boil washed her hair, but somebody else who has this wig in my collection, um, Oh, we'll see if I can do this without Nina, Nina falling. Okay, Nina's good. Okay, so this is Opal. A lot of people say she looks like me. No, she doesn't. She's tan. I'm a ghost. She's a Jess mold. I'm a Josefina classic. So this is Opal. And you can see her ends are flipped up because I've never washed this wig. It's never been washed. Okay, great. Excellent. But my other Isabel wig is completely straight and that's probably better for my hair but but my hair does do weird stuff sometimes so opal you can what okay so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to brush this and then we will put it on mini me and see how this goes okay first of all is this what I look like to all of you like genuinely first of all or second of all she should not be wearing this with her skin tone I know that now especially with the hair but is this me like hello is this mini Kyla is it gonna work is it gonna work I need you all to tell me I mean I'm like one trillion percent sold on this idea um and I went ahead and I put her part kind of where opals is because I kind of needed a guideline and I part my hair like like kind of in the middle but I part it more so on the, the like so it goes to the right I don't know so wait okay wait wait what if I do this like weird little thing she's got going on here it looks like me <laughs> what do we think are we loving it are we hating it I'm loving it. I I'm so excited I need this to be glued down because I need to do absolutely everything I can with this doll I've waited so long for a mini me that like actually has like the face up that I want and everything and now she's here and I could literally sob because I'm so so excited now you're probably like but you just bought a whole new doll and you're more excited about the yeah okay I am but does that mean that I dislike um our little new friend here absolutely not look at how cute she is yeah she needs a name I don't know what type of vibe we're going for she can definitely join well okay she's not as edgy as Roxy and Karma but she could be getting there so she needs a cool name um I'm not thinking of anything yet. Like I don't have anything specific, so she definitely needs a name um, and an outfit. I'll get that later, but this one is mini me. This one is our new friend. And you guys, I wanna tell you that um, the, oh, I'm changing them for their spring outfits. Hopefully the week Eternal Sunshine by Ariana Grande is released and that is on March 8th. So hopefully that weekend I will do, no, I do have a concert um, Saturday night, but, hopefully I will go ahead and change them into their spring outfits then you will get what they're wearing for spring and then you will get the spring updated all my dolls video and there there will be the names revealed of all the dolls I've gotten recently since the last all my dolls video that I haven't shared names for um on the channel and things like that also yes the Q&A hopefully will be out this weekend or next week but if you guys have not seen that there is a community tab over or there is a post over on the community tab 
um, where you guys can ask me any type of question that you want. So hopefully that will be out. I was going to do that today, but then um, these arrived and I was like, okay, um, we're doing this first because this is like way more exciting to me. But I love Q&As because I get to talk to you guys and I get to, you can ask me whatever you want. And I feel like it's just a way for us to get to know each other better. But anyway, let me know name suggestions. What do you think of their new styles? I think I actually might glue this wig on her and potentially her this afternoon. I like I'm scared, but I can do it. I know I can. I will pray and God will just guide my hands and it will be okay. <laughs> but anyway, again, name suggestions, thoughts. Thank you so much to the incredible sellers who sold these to me. I have to go give them five stars over on Mercari. Thank you to Omar for making this. I doubt he'll ever see this. He probably doesn't even remember making this stall, but I don't know. If you have not already, give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button to join the fam, and tap that really cool notification bell so you know the exact moment I post a new video. Have a blessed day and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye everybody.